Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. Just got here to the Kino Electric Sports Complex. Uh, it's really small this year. Definitely still worth checking out. Just got in. Sweet Medicine Lynn is over there playing with palmistry. First, we're gonna check out Armando and Sons custom rock cutters. They got some fantastic calves. I picked through what I thought was the best of the $2 cabs here. Picked up a whole bunch of the Sonoran Sunrise. Uh, yeah, and whatever kind of crisp clothes this was, I went through and I grabbed a bunch of cuts that I like. But these folks have all kinds of great stuff. Mostly cabajons, they do have like some of the typical like buffalo and bear sculptures. But let's take a look at some of these cabs. Some Laramar. Uh, these are not priced. They are cut in Mexico though, which is nice. I would imagine, you know, it would be cut in the Dominican Republic. But it is cut in Mexico. That is awesome. High dome. <laughs> what are you calling this? That's fantastic. I think a lot of people are used to seeing like the Mojave. Yeah. But this is like another level. Look at this charuca. Quanto es eso? Ese 300 dólares por todo. Nice. 10, that's 30 dollars a piece. You could easily get well over your money back on one of these pieces in a nice wrap or put it in silver in a cuff. Maybe a ring on these smaller ones. Have you ever seen the cutting operation for these? Um, a lot of times when there's a high dome, they use a silicon carbide machine instead of a diamond machine. We use diamond. You use diamond? diamond. Yeah. Uh, what kind of machine? Like a diamond Pacific? Diamond or? Pacific Titan. Really? Oh, the best of the best. The best of the best. <laughs> I'm not messing around over there. <laughs> Look, is, uh, is this Verisite or turquoise, brother? This material here. Oh, that's Verisite. Got, well, this one is Verisite, this one is number 8 turquoise. Oh, fantastic. These ones are number 8 turquoise, this one's is Verisite. That's, uh... Shadokite? Shadokite, correct. Is this the... The Percellus, or is it? They call it Purple Passion Agate. That's from my hometown, Chico, Mexico. Have you ever met the man, the rancher guy who owns the mine? So my dad was really? the owner. Really? He was the owner 15 years ago. Sold and it? Now, no, they've been uh, fighting for that mine for a while. Oh, I hope not. I hope it doesn't yeah. get too physical. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, man. It. My dad was one of them. He was actually the finder of that stuff. Yeah. Did he name it Purple Passion? Uh, no, they named it originally Sierra Madre Agate, and then it became the Purple Passion, the second name for that. So the original oh, wow. name, Sierra Madre Agate. Sierra Madre. Yep. I wish my Spanish was better. I used to live in Zacatecas for a few years. Yeah. And my grandma didn't know what spoke English, and I had to learn a little bit, and then I've been too spoiled. In America, and I can't barely speak Spanish anymore. Oh, yes, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to teach my kid, but he's like, I don't like Spanish on the like, phone. Oh. Does he live in America? Yeah, we live It's here. too easy to, to we're playing video games and everything's in yeah, English. We, and... we live here and do something else. <laughs> he's like, no, I don't want to speak Spanish. Are all of these strips 300 or is it different? At different prices. Nice. Depends on the material. Do you do any of the cutting yourself, like on this Tiffany? Yes. Do you I like? Have, I have 10 people, 10 workers with me. Oh, heck yeah. But I do actually, I do cut for myself too. I'm mainly the supervisor right there in the lot. If you don't mind me asking, how many sets of wheels do you keep at your shop? 11. 11 sets, huh? Oh, dang. <laughs> so everybody's on a wheel. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. How do you get that great polish? What it trades? Uh, 50,000 uh, grit sapphire powder. Really? So from a 50,000 grit wheel to sapphire powder. What's your favorite stone to cut? Mine? Mm. Bird's eye rally and purple passion agate, which is purple really? passion agate and the bird's eye rally is this one. If someone would have asked me, I would have said the easiest one, the softest material that's the easiest to sell. <laughs> I like that you like to cut purple passion because that is not easy. No, it's not. But I, that's the one that I learned with. So this one is the bird's eye. I mainly like to cut them because they're from my hometown, from Chihuahua, Mexico, and mm. I got used to that. Um, what else comes from Chihuahua? Purple Passion. Purple Passion Agate. 
Brazier Lays Agate. Brazier Lays Agate. Uh, Bird's Eye Rhyolite. Bird's Eye Rhyolite. And uh, some of these. Some of these too. Oh, yeah, oh really? Not. I thought all of that came from uh, Agua Calientes, but some of yeah, it can some be... of them is from Chihuahua too. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I had no idea. So, you are not cutting these on a wheel. You're doing uh, those by hand, right? You guys. You do it all by yourself? I Look. have a video. On uh, YouTube? I have a video. No, no, I, have it, no I don't have it on YouTube. I have a video here with me. Juan, he'll share it to you and you can share it on YouTube. These are stunning. Uh, a lot of people from Agua Calientes aren't getting a polish like this. No. Uh, sometimes they just use the corners of the wheels to show a little bit. But your dad does not play around, bro. Oh, no. He, <laughs> he has been doing this for a while, so he really does know. I, I mess up the bubbles, so I'm not in He don't even let you touch him anymore, huh? No, I don't like to touch him. <laughs> if I mess up with the purple one, yes, no. Screw it. I'm oh, dang. <laughs> Superior polish on, like, everything they have here. They are not messing around. I do have their card here. Again, here's the information. A USA phone number, a Mexican phone number, email, website. And uh, check out my friend. I don't have a card for it, but I'll throw up his Instagram information right here. Uh, he does lives of their shows. They're very kind. They tell you how they do this if you are a lapidary yourself, but I've been doing this for a long time and I can get nothing like the polish that this gentleman's father can. Some surfite. Before we get out of here, I gotta find out how does he get his final polish. I am the worst at cutting surfite, which is the byproduct of the manufacturing of surfboards, supposedly in Santa Cruz, California. Here's some ruby zoocyte. Three dollars for the small, seven dollars for the big ones. Not too much ruby in these. This one right here has some ruby, but mostly the zoocyte. I forget the other name for these. That's a mukite, I believe, from Australia. No price on that. Let's take a look at this turquoise. It looks like Hubei turquoise. $10 a gram. I love the bubbles and I love the yellow. I gotta say, yellow turquoise has to be my top three favorite turquoise ever. I think this is Hubei, I could be wrong. Super jimmy feeling. Very dense. It says $14, I believe. At least the sticker says on the back. It could have changed. It now is $10 a gram. I'm sure this is at least six, seven grams. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Ortiz Rotocrosite. That one is the high gen Rotocrosite. Uh, why is it? Why is it called Ortiz? Is it a family that owns the mine in Argentina? Yes. It's only one person really that owned it, uh, but now his, his sons and his grandkids are the ones taking care of the mine. So it's mainly from one person. Did your dad do the carvings? Yes. Uh, the gem quality one, uh, it's really rare, so we cannot really find that anymore. Yeah, good zero. Look at that translucency. See, like that one, fifty five zero. Makes sense. That one would be fifty dollars right there. For how long are you gonna be here, man? Yeah, that's me ninety dollars. Ninety for that one. Yeah. Two hundred for this one. This one looks. Hello, how are you? Yes. Would you call that the the highest grade in this tray? Yeah, I would call it the highest gem proto percent that I have. If you drop it, you buy it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is 
Agent Anthony, take care of the customers, okay? No problem, brother. Questions, let me know, bro. Any questions? I want to... All right. Armani Hotel. Armando and Sandra. Armando and Sandra. Armando and Sons. Extremely nice people. They do all their own cutting. Here's some shatakite. Right here? Yeah, that's it. That's the best one we have. Here's some shatakite. Not the same quality as the stuff that's on the other side of that table over there. But still stunning nonetheless. $15, perhaps $15 each. These cuts, very designer cuts, not too many bean shapes. If you take time to cut designer shapes like these, you can actually get more money out of a smaller stone than a irregular shaped heavier piece because of how fast it'll sell just from the designer shape. Great cut. The price on this tray has disintegrated. This one's backed with something brown. It's not the typical DevCon or like JB Weld that a lot of people in America use as backing. It's something different. Perhaps we'll ask Armando when he's not so busy. Well, that's on my This is backed with the same stuff. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Not bad. She's a designer, she can bake it, I can bake it. She can bake it like I make it. We're in Casarante, we go our 150 miles from the border of Casarante. Very safe over there, very, very nice. A lot of people live there. Again, I'm not backed. It feels a little lighter, but I'm sure if this is natural, it's definitely sold by the gram. Sometimes they'll sell it by the piece if it's backed because you're charging for the backing. This piece has some awesome pyrite in it. This doesn't have a number eight look. Perhaps this is just nicer turquoise. And maybe a few different mines. This also doesn't look like number eight. This one is a hundred dollars. I could stay all day checking out this tray. Check this out. Simbercrate. $25 each. I believe this is like a pyrotized septarian. This is actually backed with a piece of calcite. Pretty genius. So it says $45. Is that the price from a different show? Uh, is the tray slightly misleading because it's not Simbrakite? I really don't know. It'd be easy to ask. But I imagine the ones that are individually labeled, it's most likely showing that it is the price. So those probably really are $45. Or maybe they lower the price of this to $25. For the Tucson show. A lot of people either raise or lower their prices depending on what type of shows they're used to or where they're coming from. Thank you. Look at that. Two pieces of I don't know what on the side there. $50. 
Maybe it's 25. I really don't know. Totally stunning. I know a gentleman at the Hollow Dome that sells this material and it goes for a lot more than what Armando and his family are selling it for. Since they are the cutters and the designers, you know, they could pass a lot of the savings on to you. Opposed to buying the material and uh, getting it cut elsewhere and then selling it at some bougie booth. Just filming here can spook some people away. Are these called Tabasco? Correct, Tabasco too. Uh, there's another one that it's kind of like that, that it's called uh, Laguna Agate, and that's really small deals too. But it's really rare to come from Chihuahua, Mexico. They're kind of like the same cut and everything, but it's way rare. So if you get from, one from Chihuahua, it's worth a lot of money. Fantastic. I have some in my collection, but I don't sell them. Can't. No, no. The man, price no. is only going up. Oh, yes. It's a renaissance right now. It's getting silly like how yeah. how things are going in the gem scene i know no, they're 40 dollars five dollars a pair for these beautiful oh, boulders you, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay. see here it is that no problem that's sorry for the mistake are these uh it's coral it's not palm root no it's coral only yeah. There's three different types of that coral, which is the reddish, the orange, and the yellowish. Um, is this the red or is this the orange? That's a combined red and orange. Oh, wow. See, that one is the reddish and that's the orange. Oh, wow. This is the same coral. Yeah. It's more like a fossil. More fossilized, in other words. So the more reddish it is, the more rare it is. I think I've only ever seen the pale, pale. Yeah, like the grayish and yellowish one. Are these from Indonesia? I, yeah, that's from in Indonesia, right? The fossilized coral, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. Never seen uh, the color variation. I used to have like three trays when I sold them. Oh, nice. Hey, can't complain about that. Yeah. When you do pairs, do you do them all by eye in templates? Well, we do it by eye. That's impressive. Yeah, we don't we have that machine. I now. do a double stick tape. Oh yeah. And then try it that way, but I cannot get it that perfect. Me, it? I mean, me neither. I, I'm only, I only do regular <laughs> shapes. I've been cutting for 35 years, so I mean. <laughs> it shows. I have yeah. a pattern, it's 35 years with me. Is it as good as you? Oh yeah, they started together. Uh, so it is, probably better. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. I can't imagine anybody being better than this like crazy well, polish. Some, some things are, he doesn't do the fire rugged. Not the best for the fire rugged. But for me, I only can do your regular caps, your freeform caps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no, I will never do that. <laughs> I don't have the patience. The best I could do calibrated is sometimes if I have to do a circle, yeah. I'll put it on a nail, put uh, it on yeah. a, the spin it against the like a rotary tool or a Dremel yes. and spin it. But I can't do a perfect oval like this. Oh no. I, I, Practice makes perfect. Maybe in 35 years I'll come show your dad that I'm getting close, but yeah. it'll be better by then. <laughs> I don't know if that's good to you. Do you ever use the dop stick or do you do it by hand? Mostly by hand because I have to feel it. Yeah. I, mean, I, have to, I have to feel the vibration of the wheel with the left stick. It's a little bit different. I guess how you get used to it, you know, everybody's different. Uh -huh. yeah. Some people do and some people don't. I don't. I don't like it. Uh, the top sticks? Yeah, I don't like them. For cheap turquoise, because it's so fast, yeah. I'll do the sticks and I'm flying. Yeah. But anything good, I, I'll do by hand. Yeah. Oh man. Armando and Sons in with Junior. <laughs> yes, I'm Armando Junior. What's your last name? Barrera. Barrera. Yes. Fantastic. It's Armando the Third, actually. Oh yes. wow. Yes. Yo, you're Junior. 
my dad is the junior well my grandpa was the first reminder and then my dad and me and then my son so yes we have four generations oh, of nice. reminders already and growing yes <laughs> Have you ever seen when people take these ammonites and uh, put turquoise inside of them sometimes? Uh, yeah. Or they'll do it with the pyrotized ones. Those are usually out of Mexico, I think, when they do the turquoise in those, right? Well, the pyrotized ammonites from Russia, but when they put the turquoise and turquoise peeling, I think mostly comes from... Uh, Overseas and stuff? Indonesia or South Mexico. We really don't like to mess up with natural stone. We just don't. What is this blue here? That one, that's the only one that it's not a uh, real stone. That's actually uh, old glass, which were like the 70 glasses that they were the greenish and bluish glass. You know, oh yeah, those have bottles. a collectible scene themselves yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we made them cab shots. Uh, can you grab me those? I want to buy those from you folks. I cut my own stones, but when it's too perfect of a pair, I couldn't cut that for $5. I got to get that. And these two, please. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Grab them. I'll give you a little uh, where to put them. I'm gonna make some earrings out of these. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta buy these two. A lot of people have been buying this. Me personally, I don't like it, but a lot of people do. And then I it, tell them it's it, originally 70s glass, and they're like, oh wow. Almost cool. has that. Have you ever seen the Hemomorphite? It's which used to be like the poor man's Laramar. Yes. And uh, it all, like it has a blend between hemomorphite and aquamarine look to it. If you would have told me aquamarine, like maybe from Vietnam or yeah, you Indonesia or something, I would have believed it, you know. But yeah, it has that look. I would have never have guessed that was man-made. A lot of people ask me, but I'm like, no, it's not. It's the glass. It's the '70s glass. Fantastic. Hemomorphite has been really rare. Another place where I used to have Hemi Morphite from was Washington, but they don't get it anymore. It's just gone now, or yeah. somebody owns it, or BLM. Or... Well, yeah, I know the, my friend of mine, he, he owns the Washington Serpentine and the Washington uh, Hemi Morphite. But I think he already mined all the Hemi Morphite, and he's out. He only did it like three or four years. And after four years, he didn't add any more Hemi Morphite. Ah, oh, what a shame. Yeah. It's pretty soft, right? Oh, yes, it's soft. And you need to be really gentle when you work with that thing. Yeah. Because it's an expensive thing to work with. Is this uh, chrysoprase? Uh, no, I think that's very slim. Oh, yeah, I could have went either way. I couldn't tell. If it's chrysoprase, well, yeah, no, actually, it is chrysoprase because it's chrysoprase. It's hard to tell. Like, this, this, it, like, it almost has it. Like, this one looks like Versailles for sure. Yeah. When I saw that, but it's these chrysoprase. Are yes, I, it's chrysoprase. Chrysoprase. Yeah. Parasite, right there. Yeah, that—that's the parasite. Oh yeah. That one and that one. Do you stay in the states most of the time of the year? Yeah, especially because my wife is from here, so yes. In Arizona? Yeah. She's oh good. At least you're not too far away from good oh, no. food. I'm from, I'm from right here, literally from Tucson. I'm in New Mexico and I have a really hard time finding good Mexican food. Oh really? Yeah, the New Mexican food is just different. Yeah. It's not the same. I know. Spanish food is way different. After my wife uh, tasted the snoring hot dogs, she's like, oh no, I'm not ever going to eat another. I don't know if you have tasted those ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, after you taste the snoring hot dogs, you cannot go back to your sister. People away. One more time. Armando and son. There's the phone number. For USA and Mexico there is the emails and the website and I'll throw up Armando Jr.'s Instagram he does do live shows uh, if you saw anything here in these videos that you want to ask him about feel free to message him on Instagram